Drivers taking advantage of the record temperatures to hit the car wash. We stop by a busy Delta Sonic in Homewood. And here's someone else enjoying the unseasonably warm weather. Our Marissa Perlman is live on the golf course in Bensonville. Hey, Marissa. Hey, Erica, not a bad assignment. Today was a beautiful 75 degree day here in Bensonville. As the sun sets, the wind is picking up and those temperatures are beginning to drop. But this forecast brought out about 300 people for a tea time here this afternoon. They get about 30 on average in the month of November. But what was also surprising, the experts tell us 70 plus degree temps this month, not unusual. You can't ask for anything better in November. A late season packed golf course is a welcome surprise to general manager Andrew Godfrey. It, it just helps our bottom line a little bit at the end. It's kind of like um, just us finding a little extra extra revenue the, on the back end, which is awesome to have for. The greens here are full on this Thursday in November. Some folks playing hooky from work to take advantage of the temperatures. I don't think of 40 in, in November in Chicago in this wind. So, having fun. I don't think there's a course in the Chicagoland area that's got an open tea time today. Crazy or what? North Avenue Beach now closed for the season, but this weather is what's bringing the dogs out. Will you be thinking about this in a couple months? Oh, absolutely. The National Weather Service says 70 degree temps in November are not as rare as you may think. Chicago typically sees a period in late fall when temperatures rebound as Mother Nature gives one last warm wave before the winter season takes control. Since 2000, the Chicago area has seen highs in the 70s in November 10 times, once even hitting the 70s in the month of December. Just two years ago, we saw a seven day stretch of 71 to 76 degree days. But these golfers say they're hitting the course as if it's the last time this year, getting ready for what's expected to be a fierce drop in the forecast. It's just a great day to have, you know, one last shot for everyone to come out before the weather turns for the winter time. Now, this course is actually open year round, but the staff here tells us only the true dedicated golfers will come out here once the temperatures start to drop. Reporting live in Bensonville, I'm Marissa Perlman, CBS 2 News. Thanks, Marissa.